Hey, Spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI as Mali. Things have been getting a little bit weird. Um, so really the optimal thing for me to do right now is to buy these luxuries and, you know, all this sort of stuff. However, there's a little bit of an issue. Every time I try to buy some resources, it, like, breaks the game. I don't know why. Like, the Aztecs get, like, giga mad, and then they're like, why are you buying resources? So I'm just, even though it would be optimal for me to do that thing... I've played this turn like 10 times trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Um, but I, ju I just found an incredibly rare like bug in the AI that causes an infinite turn glitch like with an extremely high repro rate. It's fine. We can live without it. Boom. There's the granary. Let's drop the government plaza. We can finally get that up and running, which will improve the trade routes to our capital. Excellent. I mean, the optimal thing here would be to buy diplomatic favor off the AI as well, but that also causes the bug, so I'm not really sure what's going on here. We're going to take political philosophy because we want that plus one housing and plus one amenity because we're a little bit light on amenities right now. Um, it would be amazing if I could get those amenities because it would actually like super supercharge my economy, but there's just nothing I can do here. And I optimized my government here for production, faith, and gold, and a little bit of uh, stuff. What if I were to declare friendship with, the, with, with you? Would, would you perhaps consider allowing me to buy some luxuries without getting super ass mad about it? Okay, no, he's still super mad about it. I don't understand why. Why are you so mad about it? Okay, let me quickly save the game before I end my turn, because it's getting a little, little bit frisky here. Yeah, look, we've got the end of turn book. It's just, it's just stuck on the Aztec's turn. Something about buying those amenities like really sets them off. The government plaza is completed, so we can go ahead and promote Pingala with Researcher. We would really like to get the Ancestral Hall, not necessarily for the 50% increased production towards settlers, more so for the free builder every time we settle a city. And then we also want to rush towards feudalism as fast as possible, which is why I'm going to be using my gold on things like monuments. I would love, I would love, 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 love to be buying amenities. But again, this Aztec guy is just like super mad. I don't know why. He just, he won't, he won't let me do amenities. Right, so we've got the wheel. We should potentially Potentially head towards mathematics together. Diplo quarter. That'd be handy to get. We do want to get to apprenticeship relatively quickly. I think I'm going to try to rush apprenticeship if I can. If I can get it before the end of the era, I will get some bonus era score out of that. And it would be nice to consider starting it. Uh, the uh, the industrial zone in my capital city. It would be fantastic. I could totally buy more cities, by the way, which I'm going to do. I'm going to try to avoid settling here if I can. One, two, three. So instead I'll settle here. And see if I can't make something out of these cities over here. Uh, because I don't want to upset Dido for no reason, right? The, it doesn't benefit me to upset her. So there's there's no there's no reason to do it. I mean, if I had a good reason to secure the city right now, because it's, it's adjacent to a city state, it's a relatively safe city. I don't need to get it right now. Um, so I can I can hold on. I'm going to go ahead and pop into my government. I'm going to pop out Charismatic Leader and I'll pop in Diplomatic League. This is just to be efficient with my envoys. I'm going to put one into Leventa and Jerusalem. Boom, boom. And then that'll give me a little bit more faith per turn, of course, very nicely. There's Temple of Artemis. We probably won't be building Temple of Artemis this game. We did manage to finish the holy site in Gao. And the big thing we should be buying are monuments so that we can get to, um, what you call it, faster? So looking at the city of Gao, I would like to buy this tile for 110. Immediately get started on the Suguba. Boom. Perfect. We definitely want to get a shrine in here that's worth five faith per turn, like that's super good. But getting the Saguba will give me a huge boost to my gold per turn, as well as a relatively large boost to my error score, which will be quite handy. Let's pop down a little old settler right here and then pop out yet another settler over here. I think there's a really nice area over here where we could do a lot of really good stuff with holy sites and Sagubas. Like I'm thinking holy site here, holy site here, holy site here. And then there could be a Suguba in the center, a Suguba here, and a Suguba here, which gets me like just an insane amount of gold and faith. It's like the perfect opener for this area, I think. I do crush a lot of hills. Could I maybe optimize this by crushing less hills? I could crush one less hill if I do this. And it's good to preserve hills, if I can. Remember, you can't build mines on flat land. And we do have access to theology, so it would be good to build my temple and consider evangelizing. So I may save cash for that. I also need to think about getting builders. Um, and we need to get to feudalism ASAP. Let's go ahead and place your holy site right there. Perfect. And we will take scriptures now. Perfect. 13 more faith per turn. That's amazing. We definitely need to spread our religion to Gao because we're not getting the faith per turn from it. Or not the faith, sorry, the production from the city. So we, we should probably buy a missionary soon. Missionary costs about 150 faith, so we can get one next turn. And I think that's worth it based on the trade-off that we get by doing that. So let's come into here. We'll buy a missionary. We finish the ancestral hall. So now when we settle cities, we get a builder for free, which is really powerful. I think I'd like to get the temple 
and I'd like to evangelize my religion. I'm going to grab a governor title. I could go for grants here. I don't think I need grants. I think I would much rather go for something else. I don't really have many chops available to me. So it might be good for me to grab Moksha and just pop him into Gao so I can spread my religion more passively and have to get by less missionaries. One thing I do have to consider, though, is the Aztecs are spreading their religion as well. So that's kind of a little bit concerning for me. Sorry, not the Aztecs. The, um, yeah, yeah, no, it's the Aztecs. I think they're trying to spread it to me, too. Okay, big old flood in the city. Not good. Um, it did damage to just the farm tile, actually. So that was fine. The uh, districts didn't actually take damage, so I'm okay with that. Let's convert Gao. One convert didn't do the job, so we'll have to do another one. Lovely. There's the Sugyuba giving us plus four error score. However, we need to get 14 error score in 10 turns. That's a nigh impossibility, unfortunately. We can faith purchase another settler here. Let's go ahead and do that. I best to do it in Gao because it has the market or it has the Sugyuba, which makes things even cheaper. Let's start to enumerate the bonuses that we could do right now. There's really not many things we can do. Let's move this trader now from the city of Todd, from the city of Gao to Todd Denny. I think that's the place to move it to. We'll want to convert this city too. It converts in six turns. This way we can trade with the capital. We'll also be able to get another trader coming on the next era and be able to build up all of our cities really, really quickly. Let's pop down a settler. Boosh. Um, let's make sure we use our gold to be buying monuments because we need the culture right now to get to the incredibly important... Um, what do you call it? Feudalism. We need to get to feudalism. Basically, another holy site. That's a plus five right there. Feels good. We can also place your Suguba. Skadoosh. Nice thing about the Suguba is that it is half price, which is really, really nice. We finished the temple in Niani, so we could, we can evangelize the next era to optimize our era score a little bit. Now, if I were to save faith right here, let's do a little bit of thinking. Right, hang on. Galley is plus two. I need 13. I could buy 20 horses and get a horseman. How much is a horseman? Okay, horseman's plus one, galley plus two. I think I can improve one of these tiles here for plus one. If I can get an inquisition, that'll be another plus one. I was really hoping to build a wonder. We won't be able to build one in time. Not without changing government. We could change government. I don't know if we can do it in time. We can't get to the Mandakalu cavalry, so that'll be tough. But that's two, three, four, five. I think, can we buy any great people? Let me have a look. How long would it take me to do a commercial hub prayer in here? A little bit too long. If that was slightly shorter, it would have been doable. <laughs> Maybe I should have taken a Manu to get suzerainty. Can I get an envoy anywhere? We're unlikely to get an envoy. Kind of spread them out a little bit thin. We do get plus three for adopting all of our beliefs. That's three, that's five, that's eight. I need another five points from somewhere. Where am I going to get five points? They just don't exist. Not without a Manny, and I didn't get a Manny. I should have taken a Manny, not Moksha. I regret my choices. I guess in theory, if I plugged in the Great Rider card, I might be able to lure someone. Maybe I could lure Marcus Licinius Crassus? Problem is, there's just not enough faith to do all of this. Not in seven turns. I think we save all this for next era. We just, we save all this era score for the next era. We don't worry about it. Um, we live in a normal age. We just, we don't, we just can't secure enough era score to do it um unfortunately i can buy a great work of writing though fairly cheap 256 gold i'll take that hell yeah that's like having a fully built mine in my capital right it's two gold four production two culture and a little bit of tourism based nice there's bronze working we did find a source of iron in fact we found two sources of iron that are already improved which i'm very happy about that's actually a fantastic discovery and one underneath the city of jen jenny jen jenny jenny I always think of Forrest Gump when I see the city of Jen. I think, it, is it Jenny or Jen? I don't remember. Everyone wants to buy my iron. It looks like I found all of the iron on the map. <laughs> uh, knowledge of construction has advanced. Excellent. I think we'll just crack out a couple more settlers. I bought it in the wrong city. It should have been bought in here. Oopsie. Todd Denny got its holy site. Excellent. I'm wondering if it will still break the game if I buy luxuries, because I really want to. God, do I need to buy luxuries. Right, the Aztecs are mad about it, but I'm hoping that that didn't break the game. <laughs> just please. I just, I need the luxuries. I'm going to plug in colonization now, because I think I should spam settlers for my capital. My capital can build them extremely efficiently, extremely quickly, seven turns per. So that'll be quite handy. God damn it, the end of turn bug, it's still... Okay, I'm just, I'm just going to be forever without amenities. I think I can get away with buying the spices. And I think that's it, because if I upset the Aztecs, that's game over for me, apparently. Let's go ahead and build the market. Yes, we can buy them with faith, but my faith is going to be used for other stuff in the next era. So that's not going to be what we do with it. I'm actually kind of curious 
Who owns this religion? The Aztec. Okay, I'm going to be able to do maybe some fun converting stuff inside Dido's Empire next era to try to maximize error score and get a really, really solid golden age. I'll pop down this city. We'll get another builder. Um, I think a farm here is totally acceptable. I'll buy this tile. We will crack down with a holy site. Holy site first, as always, because these are like amazing holy sites if we can make them work. Hoping my religion doesn't spread too quickly because I would like this era to end. Excellent. We have completed the holy site in Karina. The city has flipped to my religion, so it's getting the really nice production boost. We could go straight for the Saguba, and I think we will because that'll make things cheaper to buy in here. I believe, yeah, everything is cheaper to buy with golden faith by 20% when you get the Saguba. And plus it also just has like really nice yields, plus five gold. In terms of governor title, I am going to grab a Mani here because I can make use of her to grab some suzerainties. Like, for example, I can grab the suzerainty of Mexico in five turns for plus two error score, which is quite handy. And uh, that will play nicely into our plans going forward. We can make a dedication. I'm going to obviously make a dedication to the Exodus of the Evangelists. And then I'm going to start buying my apostles to evangelize my religion. We're going to finish researching apprenticeship in order to get the error score for researching that. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly confident we can get a golden age here. I need to get is that 40 error score? Jesus Christ, that's a lot of error score. Um, damn. More than I was expecting. So she is happy that I'm settling away from the coast, which, you know, I'm okay with. Let's pop into Segu. We'll buy this tile. Boom. Um, and then we will pop a holy site right there. Excellent. You? I could check your promotions. I don't really care. I just really wanted to get the evangelize in. I have a couple of options when it comes to evangelization. Missionaries and apostles are 30% cheaper. This will allow me to spread and evangelize my religion much cheaper. It's a very, very powerful one. Religious colonization is quite handy too. I'm going to go for holy order. Holy order is just like really, really S tier when it comes to, to doing your religion stuff. Because now my next apostle is only 300 faith, which is a big reduction. Let's grab mathematics. It could be cool for us to go for Petra here. Although I, I haven't really prioritized Petra. I don't think it's actually central to my plan. I mean, I don't really have an amazing Petra city, to be honest with you. I have okay Petra cities. Uh, but if we could get the Petra, it would be sick. I'm very happy to get apprenticeship because now all of my mines are plus one production, which is starting to help make up for the fact that my production is low. Uh, so we're taking a look here. I got my granary. It's two turns until you grow. Go ahead and build the shrine. We need more faith. You're exploring down here to find more stuff. I would rather not build a pasture. I'd rather build mines. Mines are way better, in my opinion. And I think I can make some interesting purchases and sales here in a moment. There's another settler cranking out. We can use our faith to grab a apostle here. Perfect. And we can theoretically settle a city right here. One, two, three. That leaves potential for this city to be left open. One, two, three potential for this city to be left open and then there's potentially a few cities kind of knocking around maybe if i settle the city right here i'll get extra error score if i settle right here actually that's a good point i think we might prioritize that keep on settling in the capital we could build jebel barkal it would be honestly really really good faith wonder let me have a look at the old city overlap because i believe how the jebel barkal works is every city within six tiles gets plus four faith so the optimal jebel barkal for me this game is actually here in gao and it would be a 25 turn build I don't know if I want to commit to that. Let's keep buying monuments. Need that culture. We are starting to snowball, which I'm very happy about. I heard a barb camp up here. It's all the way over there. I don't have to be concerned about that. Let's grab irrigation. Let's grab masonry. We're just going to backfill and fill in all those old texts that we skipped. I'm going to faith buy a market in here. That means I can probably justify buying a trader in another city. Ideally, I'm going to put one in Kumbi Saleh. I need to wait for money before I can do that. This city needs to get converted. Let's evangelize our belief. Gurdwaras could be handy here. I am going to struggle for growth. And plus two growth is helpful. Plus two food in a heavily deserted sieve. Really, really, really quite handy. So I'm going to take Gurdwaras. There's plus four error score from evangelizing. We probably want to do an inquisition. But before we do that, we probably want to spread our religion to reinforce it. Right, here we go. Let's buy a... Can't I fate buy a unit in here? Oh, because I never finished the shrine, didn't I? I did. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and faith buy a apostle for the Inquisition. We'll settle this city. There's era score for three era score for settling next to that wonder. Very happy about that. Potentially a really nice setup like this. I'll buy that holy site tile and place it. I got my shrine in Todd Denny. Let's get that harbor. If we could finish this harbor, that should be more era score, which will be fantastic. It would have been nice to go for mausoleum this game, but that's not part of the plans. You're going to launch an inquisition. That's plus one era score. And now we can get inquisitors who are very, very good at eradicating religion and also spreading it. Progress towards guilds has been boosted. Let's grab a missionary too. So you're going to come down here to convert these cities. And we finished the market. So we would like more traders. Let's come up here. 
We'll buy a trader in Kumbi Saleh that'll trade with the capital. And you can finally get to work on your shrines and stuff. We should consider also making sure that we're building good relationships with these religious city-states. We want to get all of them to level six. And we want to fully build all of our um, all of our holy sites. We're up to 115 faith per turn. That's insane, by the way. There's construction. There's feudalism. Excellent. I'm going to take out urban planning. I really need urban planning. I kind of need all of these. I can live without colonization as opposed to serfdom. Serfdom is necessary. Um, let's see if we can buy. I don't want to buy. Like, unfortunately, I can't buy luxuries because goddamn Aztecs are in the game. What I can do is buy great works of writing on the cheap. Boom. And we'll try to look into buying some every turn or two. Let's trade with Niani from Kumbi Saleh. That'll speed up the holy site. I need to save up for more of those trade routes. My cities are converting. This is excellent news. It's a wave of conversions happening. My Inquisitor is here. He'll convert this city. I'll want to send some missionaries out and about to maybe start putting pressure on here. Yeah, there's not that much pressure in these cities, so I can do a little bit of that. Let's grab two missionaries to send in there. Wow, somebody sniped the Mexico first suzerain. How annoying. Let's grab a Mani and pop her into Granada. See if I can get Granada first suzerain. Looks like Tamar and Coupe are at war. Just kind of an interesting moment in history. Convert Timbuktu. Perfect. We're already well on our way to a golden age. Right, let's go ahead and purchase another trader over here. Just constantly needing more and more traders. I'm going to get Gao to go for the Jebel Barkal. It's a really good Jebel Barkal right there. It's a 24 turn build, but that's fine. And then I'm going to get the capital to go for the Petra. Because there's a really, really nice Petra here. I don't remember, does Petra work on floodplains? Non-floodplains. So it actually isn't a super optimal city to do it in. But it does have five Petra hills. Potentially six, seven, seven Petra hills. That makes it worth it. All right, go for that Petra. I think it's worth it. Plus it's error score for our goal of getting into another holy, into another golden age. We're going to head towards Reformed Church. We'll be able to do amazing stuff with Reformed Church. Um, I need you to trade with Niani because the most important thing is that I get my internal civilization up and running. I don't think we need anything else. Um, could be good to get the Yang for more efficient builder purchasing in Jenny. How do you feel about good works? Let's buy one of those and one of those. Perfect. More great works coming in. That's our culture pumping. That should speed up how quickly we get those wonders too. Because now both of these cities actually have two sets of books. Not a lot of whole, not a whole lot of luxuries in my land though. That's one big problem that I'm running into, which I'm going to have to kind of like try to survive through. What's the religion like in here? Uh, we are slowly chipping away. Boom. We have erased the opposition. We just need to continue to pressure. Monument completed in Karina. Excellent stuff. Why don't you get a granary so you can place your next district? Holy site completed in Timbuktu. Why don't you go ahead and place your Seguba? It's like the most important thing that you do. You're ready to place your Seguba as well. Let's switch this tile. Come over to your Seguba and we will just place it. We won't actually build it yet. We can lock in that nice cheap price. You're also ready to place your Seguba so we could lock in your nice cheap price. Um, and I totally forgot to end this episode. I was meant to do them shorter. I'm going to call that the end of the episode. I love you all very much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>